it's academic and it's theater and it's a place where they both meet. So welcome, um, everybody, here to the Martin E. Siegel Theatre Center at the Graded Center CUNY. My name is Frank Henschko, and I'm the director of the Siegel Center and also the director of programs. It's a great, great honor, again, for the third time to collaborate, uh, presenting this most uh, significant um, award. And um, we are here today to honor Adelheid Rosen. And Adelheid, I think, is somewhere. Oh, here she is. Uh, here she is uh, with us. And uh, uh, congratulations again. She's the 2017 League of Professional Theatre Women's Gilder Kuan Yi International Theatre Award winner. It's a great honor. We refer to it as the Nobel Prize for Theatre for Women <laughs> internationally working. And I, it is the greatest honor. I don't know of another one. Um, that comes uh, as close every three years in such a long search process, and really would like to congratulate the league for taking this on. It's such a ba such a big uh, big work, and we are really uh, honored to be a partner and um, to also present the day here, which is only one of many activities. Um, I especially would like to send, of course, Melody Brooks and uh, Katrin Hilbe, um, who yeah. will be coming here. Producer Rebecca Sheehan, and then of course the entire Siegel team, and uh, everybody who made this happen, and also of course crossing the line. We have also the uh, cultural ambassador here from uh, from the Netherlands. We have the head of uh, uh, Adelheid's uh, production team in the in the Netherlands who flew in for this award. So it is a significant one. Um, again, thank you for coming. If you have a cell phone, please do take it out. I'll do the same. Check it over. Yeah, it's all, all off. So again, um, thank you for coming. They hope uh, you see the schedule of the program in the printout. And now I'll give it over to the Dream Team. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, Frank, for this lovely welcome. And Frank is one of the founders of this uh, award, together with the League. And so we're very pleased to be here yet again, the third time around. And welcome, y'all, for a, a whole day, an immersive day, to look at Adelheid and how she works. And we're, I'm really delighted to introduce Linda Chapman, Associate Artistic Director of the New York Theatre Workshop. <laughs> who, <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> and Linda nominated Adelheid this time around. And so we're very pleased to have Linda do uh, an interview and then uh, a feedback session. And this is a really a real opportunity for an in-depth discussion and exploration of, of a key tool of how Adelheid creates her unique body of work. And uh, just as a last thing, we would uh, like to make a plea for donations. We're about $700 short of what we need to spend. And this is all done by volunteers and all done by people who put in uh, a lot of hours to get this wonderful award uh, ready. And we're very pleased to have eight of our nominees here, some of our uh, here in the room with us. And so I will now hand it over to Linda and Adelheid. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Yeah. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Well, um, I had the pleasure of meeting Adelaide um, back into about 2000, 2009, I believe it was. It was the end of the, uh, the Netherlands Theatre uh, Institute. 
Anya Krenz, who is a, a, yeah, she's an international affiliate, was the person who introduced me and my artistic director, Jim Nicola. So I got to see a little bit of the veiled monologues at that time and have always, there's always been a place in my mind um, about this incredible work. So we are going to try to take apart the life of Adelaide for uh, the first part of this discussion. Um, uh, this is casual. We're going to stop a couple times along the way so that we can, we can discuss, so that you can ask questions, so that we can go back and, you know, uh, everybody has uh, probably different, different interests in this work. And I think ultimately what we're looking for is how do we intersect with the work that we're doing here in New York City? Um, I think there are some, some theater directors here, a number of theater directors here. Does this apply? I think this is going to be a, kind of the, 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 uh, where, we're, where we're going with the conversation. But let's begin. <laughs> let's begin at the beginning. Um, I loved uh, a, a story that you brought up, Katrin, at the um, MAM screening in, in, at the beginning. Um, and this was a story, I think, that you told Katrin about bringing home homeless people for lunch when you were about six years old. Is that correct? Yeah, yes. It started, I think, when I was five or six. Oh, 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 yeah, they're recording. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thank you, Frank. Is it, is it needed? For recording. Yeah. Just for oh, recording. for the recording. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Structures. It's for history. For history. For, for history. Oh mm -hmm. my God! For history. <gasps> we're living now, and we're living forward. Okay. Um, yeah, I had to. I was on a on a, uh, a nunnery. You say nunnery school? Oh, you were in like a Catholic. Uh, Catholic. A school? Catholic. Yeah with nuns, uh, so, and it was like a 25-minute walk, which was rather a long uh, walk uh, when I was four and five years old, and then along uh, the, the road, I picked them up, or they picked me up, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> And they walked with me, and I and I I I told my mother, yeah, they are my new friends, uh, and I bring them uh, home because I they also want to drink tea and and a cookie. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> and was it just an impulse out of like just as a, a childhood friendship? That did you do you remember what you thought about that? Um, Your parents had never said, "Don't talk to strangers." I know that was a big that was a big theme in my very early life about not talking to strangers little girls were being picked up and yeah that is actually what my mother that is what my mother said too and i i understand that because of course she was always afraid with girls she had to, only two girls four men and um uh, uh, rape and um actually that's a very nice so you, question you were it seems I'm like you were fe you were fearless even then yeah, I, I, I was. I had a kind of m just a, a flash of a memory. Just when you asked it, uh, asked it like as if the planet actually is one thing, or it felt like one street, or it felt like one landscape, or I experienced it as. Uh, no boundaries. Right, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Did you have a, any feeling about theatrical work at that time, that early, that early time? About? About making art, about making theater, about making performance. Was that, when did that enter your consciousness? Um, it was in, it, um, I, I, I made a lot with uh, wood, with stones, with sand, because my mother was extremely strict. And she raised me a bit, like, uh, as if she was a dictator <laughs> of the household. And so, 
everything I could lay my hands on became. I did it also. Wat is ook alweer um, uh, gereedschap en tools en uh, forks en spoons en. I did it actually with 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 all this. Uh -huh. I started to build more decor, more drawing. Mm -hmm. I started with painting and drawing, with also, yeah, it, it sounds maybe strange, but like uh, when I menstruated for the first time, I made a lot of paintings, paintings with my blood. Oh, you were making body art at a very <laughs> young. Well, I didn't know, I had no <laughs> clue. But I ha it was like I was on, 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 my, on my room and actually I didn't have much because the, it was not allowed. So I stole newspapers of my father and then I thought with the blood, wow. So I remember I was standing like, you know, it's not like, wow, the drops were, it was beautiful. It was really, but I had, I, I, did n I didn't know anything about the art world, nothing. It was only the church and the breakfast and the rules and home and homework and when did you start making theater or wanting to, you're a performer, you're a performer, you're a writer, you're a director, you're a filmmaker. Um, when did the performance, uh, when was performance becoming uh, attractive or interesting for you? Very late. Um, There w I was in the fifth class of high school, and still I was under the rules of my mother. And there was a teacher. Uh, he was he was with a group of teachers in a, in. Uh, they organized uh, creative stuff, art stuff, uh, uh, gymnastics uh, trips outside school. Uh, you know, there were all teachers. Mathematics and and and, and uh, well, I I don't remember, but they had a, a group, a kind of creative creative group to organize things for the for the students, and they called my mother on a day. Uh, uh, can Adelheid help us because uh, somebody in the performance of the school became ill, and we think Adelheid is a is a nice choice. Uh, to take it over. You say that? You take it over? Yeah, yeah. And you were the understudy. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. And you didn't even know it. Right. <laughs> right. And then my mother, uh, and that is a fight I remember very good, because my mother did not want me to be in connection with something like that, mm -hmm. that kind of contact, uh, content, but uh, the help, to help the school to help the teacher, that was the accent. So she was like, you, you, you go there, you come back immediately, but you have to help, they're asking for help. So I went there, I got a, a dress, I thought, okay, a dress, I, and I, I really do remember, there was no excitement, nothing. I was just there, okay, I can get out of the, well, more or less the jail, and they gave me a show and, uh, and the text. And it was like, okay, you read it. Okay, I read it in a dressing room. Okay, and then I, what I, I, okay, I read it in front of the public. And they, they, they broke the ceiling. You were a hit. And I had no clue why. Did you, no. did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. But it was not what I ex I had completely not expected that joy. I was sitting in it at once, I was like, okay, and then but it and I think there the there I was addicted right away. Right, right. And and then you went on to do more with your with your school? It, no, it was not allowed. My mother did not allow right. it. Uh, so I had to study, and I said, okay, I'm going to study French, uh, because that, well, that was her proposal, and I thought that can be my 
Um, wat is dekmantel ook alweer? Like a, your escape. Ja, 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 can you my yeah. escape? Yeah. Because my mother didn't uh, finish her, her study, French, uh, because she married my father. So I thought, okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I sneaked out and went to art school. And then after one year of, uh, or something like that, they discovered. She uh, didn't know. You, you were in school for a year. No. And, and they didn't know? No. And you were living at home still? No, 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 ah. no, no, no. No, no, I, I went you had to moved. Amsterdam. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not from Amsterdam originally. No, 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 I'm from the south. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happened after that? Were they paying for your school? Uh, well, they didn't know, of course. So I had, uh, so the, the art school said, okay, you can clean at, very sweet, because my, my, my parents, when they discovered, they didn't pay anymore, of course. But then I had nothing. And then the, and, uh, the art school said you can clean teachers' houses. Mm -hmm. So I did four or five. Work study, as we call it here. <laughs> <laughs> so you earned your own way, basically. You, 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 you earned your own way. Yeah, and then after, I think, two and a half years, my father was like, oh, that's, that doesn't feel good anymore. That's strange. That's, I'm going to pay for my child. So then they, my parents fight and fight and uh, fight a bit about this, and then it, then my father start paying me money again. That's that's really wonderful. <laughs> and were you working in the visual arts at that time? Were you working in painting, or I was well, it theater school? Yeah, first I started uh, a, a painting and design, and then I went to performing. Mm -hmm and the, what we call theater maker, mm -hmm. and then uh, I did a one and a half year dance because I just loved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, the wonderful, wonderful <coughs> theater and art schools in the Netherlands, um, and your school was, yeah, I like teaching, them too. was teaching both. You're, you had the opportunity to study both, the visual arts and performing arts, <coughs> or were they different schools? First, well, they, they became one school. First, they were, they were different, okay. but I was in a period, I don't know if it exists anymore, but I was in a period, it was the, the, the then, wow, the school was, I got video, I got uh, uh, technique, uh, acting classes, all sorts of, uh, designing, also like making posters, or do you, you know? Yes, do, yes. Now, is the uh, tuition paid for? Is that public? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you were just having to pay for your own, your housing and your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the school is... is the school was... The, yeah. By yeah. The Hague mm -hmm. government. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. Really yeah. wonderful. Yeah, and then out of all of this, was there a particular teacher? Were there people who influenced you particularly? Do you recall, just in terms of... I mean, your, your path is very unique, I think. The, the work you've done and how you've done it. Um, and I, I don't know, were there models, or are you finding your own way through your education? I think I, 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 I was founding my own way, but I had, and I also, I think, I think one thing in my education from my mother, which could be something negative, but um, turned out to be something positive, I think... I was so, as a child, I was so um, uh, on my own that from that being on my own, I, I developed it or I transformed it into a power. So when I entered a space or a room, I thought like, nobody's going to accept me. So I turned it around. And actually it was very painful, but as a child, it was wonderful. So I imagined like, okay, I can handle this and I'm going to shoot you first before you kill me. You know, that was the... You're on the offensive all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that was mm -hmm. exhausting, but that I, I didn't realize <laughs> because I had a lot of energy. But I think, that, and, and later on, that, that, that also gave energy for my curiosity. So I entered in space and, space and I thought like, okay, uh, I do not have to belong anywhere. Fine, that's my freedom. And then I entered. Mm -hmm. 
And, and, and that is why I think I could analyze uh, structures. Then I think like, wow, everybody is so, how you say, following? Yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. is so... Uh, how, how conscious they are of, 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 of uh, filling in uh, the way they're expected, ex right. meeting expectations. Right. Where you're somehow standing outside always, always standing a little bit outside. And, yeah. And, and evaluating. Right. Right. And that made that I, that I, that I turned everything. So, f and in a, I think in a good way and in a nasty way and in a provocative way. But, you know, sometimes I, for example, I cannot understand that people are in a row, you know, and somebody needs help over there. And then everybody is seeing that that person needs help, but we don't want to nobody, lose. Nobody, 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 no, nobody. And then I think like, this is the world. 40 people in silence, uh, seeing somebody struggling over there with a problem, and, and we all looking or looking. I, for me, it's like, but really, you know, that's, that, that's my most, f it, it, maybe it's for a lot of people a cliche. For me, I can cry about this. Right. Now, this is interesting because obviously this notion of helping, even as a youngster, this was, this was something that you did accept from your mother. The fact that that is a value that's positive and that you want to emulate, yeah. right? With because yeah. that was her, that was the excuse that she could give herself to allow you to <laughs> perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's but but that's you took that on. That seems to be that seems to be a value in your work to this very moment. I mean, I'm kind of trying to pull out what these particulars are that make you so yeah. unique. I mean, um, and, and there is that idea of, uh, is, it is almost a kind of crossing, you're always crossing boundaries, it seems. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. um, uh, and it's, it's interesting that coming out of such a strict background that you, you didn't rebel totally. I mean, that they're, they're somehow you worked within your mother's very tight system, or your mother and your father's. I mean, I, I don't, no, I don't know. No, my father was the opposite. So maybe it is my mother. In my brain, or in my, I always, yeah, I, I divide it between, oh, I divide it between the two of them. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure, of course. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. And as you said, there was a lot of strife, it sounds like. Well, I don't, what do you mean? Because that's, that's Well, maybe that was just about you going to art school. Maybe that's where the strife was. No, I mean, what, what do you mean? I like that. What do you mean by you, you try to break out of your mother's system and you're, always, and you're also part of it? Well, it just seems to me she had very, very tight rules. And, you, yeah. and, and at the same time, you say you're always, you're standing outside. You're never, you're never quite in the situation. You're always sort of half in and half out of it as a you know, social situations. I'm just trying to figure out where that comes yeah. from in the family structure and right. with these very tight rules and, and also for a family that wasn't necessarily culturally sophisticated, it sounds like. They're, they were very, they, they had very strong rules, religious rules. Um, so well, it's, they, it's interesting well, to, you know, where do, where do these, where do our, our incredibly unique artists, how does that, how does that come out of a very, you know, almost conventional kind of childhood. Um, how you have made this path? It's not easy. There are very, there aren't even that many strong women directors in the Netherlands. From 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 the bits pieces that I know, you're 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 also, especially for for our generation, you're 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 groundbreaking in 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 a lot of ways. You're opening up discourse for women in in culture in a way that. Um, I think is 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 significant. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's so yeah yeah I'm I'm it's I, I interesting like that. how we I mean because you didn't ever rebel they kept taking you back I I think of that wonderful piece with the Turkish mother and daughter somehow you have gotten them together in a space we we got to see this magnificent piece last week. Um, they are each themselves they are accepting and loving but they. Continue to disagree. Yeah, they, they continue to disagree. Yeah, the, yeah, and, and that's and, part of it. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm feeling the threads of that in in this in your upbringing, I guess. Right. But I think it's um, I think it connects to, for example, 
uh, maybe it's completely not true, but it's that's many times, and also when I was young, in my in my um, mind or in my heart or in my brain. For example, the row when we when the row with with silent people or the art world itself, we all have words, and because you have and we need words, you know, you need a vocabulary to you know exchange ideas and to understand each other. But for me, that, it, that was already l almost like a hurt. It hurt. So when you, when you make the row of people who are standing silent, and it's like a social or helping problem, for, and also uh, for me it is like we are not playing. So when you, for example, when you make the art world into an exclusive field, mm -hmm. <coughs> and people only who know about art can enter the art, then it's exclusive. And what, and I, I do not, rec when I wake up, I do really, I do not recognize, my soul is not recognizing when I open it, when I'm opening my eyes, and I think like, the whole fucking planet should be one thing, and it is one thing, and, and, in on that one thing, we are all doing our own stuff. But that that excluding is for me that I that I think like uh, stop turning the planet and can I get, get off, off now? Yeah, yeah. Can I get off. Yeah, yeah. But but there wasn't one mentor or one teacher who particularly uh, helped you find your way, or are you? Are you finding your own way in kind of in reaction to or I was a bit, I think because I, when I was a child I was rather wild and I think I was also wild out of panic. Uh, so no I I know that there, 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 there the only thing what I remember is that uh, the the teacher of uh, gymnastics you call that. Uh -huh. He and the teacher, yeah, the teacher, Dutch, the Dutch language. Writing. Yeah. The writing. Writing in Flemish. The writing, yeah, no. the writing. That was the one who, who called my parents and said, well, she has to do something with poetry and writing, I think. That was one teacher. And uh, uh, gymnastics, he, he, he came to my parents... He initiated that himself, mm -hmm. and he talked two times, but I couldn't. I couldn't witness that. I. I, I was not. You weren't there. You weren't. You weren't no, part of the no, conversation. No, I wasn't. Yeah, which is a pity. But yeah. now, wh what would you say was your first work? The first work that you made when you knew this is the path I'm going to take in my life. When you knew performance or film or as an actor. Do you remember coming out of school or even in school what that moment was where you made that commitment? I mean, you're exploring. You mean after high school? Well, you're in art school already. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Oh, when I was in art school, oh, I did, felt like, like a, a, another, uh, another level of life. When I entered that, 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 that schoolyard, that... It, I was on. I was on. A, I was on another planet. I do not. I was so happy. I. I was so happy. I. I it, it felt like as if that after twenty years I came home. And did you <laughs> did you go to art school thinking I'm going to be a painter? I'm going to be a filmmaker? I'm going to be a performer? No. no. You no, didn't, the, the, you didn't I, have I that have kind no. of intention. It was more about looking for a place well, it, 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 to it, be. It, it, Do you remember why? Yeah, maybe, maybe it maybe it sounds very sad, but don't take it and uh, don't take it as, as a sad thing. But I think my hope, my child, my mother was really, um, really a, a military. I think, and I had it is very it it's it's re, it it is like I had no fantasy. I had no not I had no future projection. You were just living in the moment. Yeah, right. I had, I had no. It was as if the longing was. I was every. It was more in the moment, surviving. Right. So art school for you was about a place to be. Yeah. 
I start, it's in that like that. as opposed to an ambition to become something. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what was the work, what, what work came out of that when you knew this was going to be what you wanted to devote your life to? Or maybe you didn't have that. Maybe you made a piece and maybe you continued to live in the moment. I mean, uh, well, I, <clears throat> I continued actually with that, what you could say, um, 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 analyzing the structures. For example, one of, I just told the Dennis this morning in the car, one of the first things I started to do was uh, when I went into art school was, I went, we have bikes, eh? uh, always biking, biking. Uh, so I started to bike into buildings on my way to school. Uh, and I did that as a, I don't know, uh, also that I thought like, uh, uh, I had my own rules, so I could not touch the floor with my feet. And uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't stop in the building, so I really had to flirt around. Would this be like a big hotel or a... Yeah, yeah, or... Uh, some the, big, the, the, big the, the, the public space. Yeah, the bank, yeah, public space. All right, here's another theme. Uh, <laughs> 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 a bank, the banks, uh, the, the, how you call it, the, the mayor office. Uh-huh, uh, the, 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 yeah, the, like city hall. Uh, city hall, right. Uh, this is before high security. Yeah, but I do it, I, I still do it. You do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because now there's beautiful, now they have the lights. In earlier days, I had to open it and then start biking inside, which was actually, which irritated me a bit. Only in summer or spring when the doors are open, but now you have the lights. So now when you, when you bike very slowly, the lights are opening the doors, one, two, Oh, and then right, so, right. so you, I can stay on it's the bike. on the bike and you don't have to put your feet down. No, right? and that is, that is because otherwise I have to turn around right, and go right. outside. Were you ever arrested for this kind of activity? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would be in New York, I don't know. No, I, well, I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind, actually, but um, I think I'm, you're too quick. You're very good, all right. Yeah, you're, you're too quick. But this is, this is already, this is some kind of public performance that you're doing. Yeah, well, and that is actually then what the teacher said, <laughs> you know, on the, on, right. the, on the art school. But yeah. that was, I was completely not conscious yeah. of, let's say, the value of art or the word or the, right. the, the echo of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 was, I was completely not aware of that. Were you doing it to defy? Were you doing it... I, I just wonder it was, it, it, it was to get me, away with it? As no, a, no, for me it was every time, why is nobody playing? Uh -huh. That was all the time. All this why, space, all this open space. Why, yeah, why is nobody, why aren't we on the sand building castles? It was like, yeah, but also when you work, why, uh, why do I have to conquer you instead of like, oh, you have a, I'm behind the computer, you're behind, what is the pr problem you're in? You have trouble, oh, nice, uh, duh, 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 duh. oh, maybe I can solve yours, oh, let's switch computer. I mean, the whole life, I mean, the whole, really, the, the, the essence of life, I think the essence of life is not, it feels like a parallel road to build success. Instead of uh, unfolding your soul, unfolding who are you? I mean, like the grace of developing, or how do you say, yeah, unfolding who you are? Who discovering. You, huh? Yeah, the discovering, right. 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 And for me, it's so strange that we build a life next to our self, mm. and then all, and do the whole day like, uh, who do you want to meet? You know, I, in one performance, I, I, I made close to also, uh, something I did also on, on art school. Uh, I made circles and people were very disturbed. Uh, let's say parents and, and so older people were very disturbed. And uh, the, my, the students loved it, my, my colleagues. Uh, it was like, I made circles of people when they, and I invited people, so I made circles. And then I ask teachers and students to go into the circles uh, to mix a bit and then play that fabulous thing we do of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Like you belong and you don't, and you belong and you don't, you know? 
So I, I invited imp what we call important people out of the city, and I asked them to cooperate and do as if they... In, while you were in school? Yeah, 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 is, in, the, in that performance. Yeah, yeah, I made a performance out or an installation out of that. Right, right. And then, we, and then afterwards we analyzed it. We had a, a huge circle and then people realized they were in something because I made it in an, like an open reception and uh, I named it, there was a party party which was all made up. Right. And then afterwards everybody was like, so then the, the, the very important people from uh, television and journalists and, and writers and blah, 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 and then they admit, like, no, I was in the... So how everybody was relating and pushing somebody else away only with an eyebrow. So how we... So that was... So that, is that, that sort of sounds like a, that, was a, that was an important moment for you, a really important, that activity. Because you're, you're enlisting performers who don't even know they're performing, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is... That is that is exactly what I actually discovered in art school. Right. Which still carries, that's I think one of, the, one of those basic values that still we find in your work of going out into the community. Anybody be, can be a performer in, in your world if it relates to the, to the subject yeah. that you're, that yeah, you're because, because, investigating. Yeah, yeah, and because maybe that's what you mean, like uh, and I make, a world for Hava, for example, the mother of, 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 of Nazmir, who is like a traditional Muslim mother and not an actor at all, but right. really a mother. <laughs> I, so I also start with her, uh, like, uh, Hava, when I put you on a chair, uh, can you close your eyes? Okay, in the rear, what kind, what is the color of your dress, you think? What is the so I also try to um, develop her clothing, but also the space, because I want her to be comfortable, because she is not the actor. <coughs> so where, what do you see when you see an Arabic living room a bit? You see a mosque, you see... I, I, of course I give suggestions, what I thought, to make her feel at home in the decor, so that it's her world. And how did you develop that, that ability to work with non-performers? I mean, this again is another, this is something you have very particularly developed. Yeah. And it sounds like some almost traditional sense memory, uh, some, some of the things that we learn, you know, early, early on in our, in our, you know, traditional theater schools, seems like you've taken some of these things and some of these, these exercises, but translate them to anyone. Yeah, I think it's... it's unusual. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a very it unusual. A, oh. and, and some of this is just instinctual, it seems to me, in yeah. terms of how you, how you come upon these, these notions and these ideas for your work. It's, it, there's something. There's something very particular in. Yeah, your but there is something, isn't there? There is something like you know what? Isn't there something like this? What, what children do? And maybe I didn't. Maybe I just didn't forget. You know, because when you take somebody's head and somebody's following, you want to. You want to take a seat? Sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah, you take a seat. Right. 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 I think it's 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 and I don't understand why people are not living like this right. with right. so with very old people oh, I guess was, with very old people I worked uh, I made it's called something tender uh -huh. and it was an installation around uh, a performance uh, or a, 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 a theater piece and then the the the, the audience was in row at a ticket office and I was with, uh, so C, above 75. And then we just, yeah, I, the, the old bodies going down was so beautiful. So they were completely in their own way. But it was in between the, where well, everybody was at the ticket, the, 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 the theater hall, you know, before they went in. Oh, like the lobby. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah like the lobby. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, and they were with the two of them. Yeah, you have to, well, I can also turn, you have to turn, yeah, yeah, like this, 
And then the whole, the whole lobby, <laughs> <laughs> the whole lobby was with very old people laying. No, I'm gonna. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so beautiful. It was, and and it was, and it was only, let's say, or of course, I rehearsed this, and it was organized. But it, then it was organized completely in the chaos of, you know, 800 people going to it. But when you see that before you, you know, it's going so slow and, you know, people of 80 and 85 and then they, and then I have uh, one musician and I, they, he composed a beautiful song. They could sing in Dutch. So you, you heard, and they were all wired. So you, at once you heard from when you didn't see them, you, you could hear it in the in, in the lobby space. So you you had an you didn't have an audience for it. No, I. I, I everybody was was involved. The, all the all I, everybody was a participant. I did it. Um, um, no, I did it uh, as a uh, the, let's say the the entrance and the exit of Ola Mafalani's uh, main hall theater, theater piece. Okay. So she, because she was in Groningen and she mm -hmm. wanted to, uh, to make this, this special. Piece. I see. And then she said, Adelheid, I want your expertise on the older people who live in the cities. Well, she said, we like each other's work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was like, I did, I did a few co-productions with her, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so so that I can take uh, that I have the opportunity uh, to work with twenty people in cities who are so they they, they travel with the with that performance of Ola. Oh, okay, that sounds really really wonderful. Well, maybe this is a good time for us to stop for a minute. And are you intrigued? Do you have questions? or observations that you would like to, to make now? We'll just take a few minutes. Yeah, we've got a microphone back here. We can pass around. We're going to, we're, we're, we're headed uh, into the specifics of the adoption method or methodology, but we thought it would be really, really interesting to try to, you know, figure out where, where this unique artist, how did she grow? How did she become who she is? <laughs> So anyway, in terms of the early, yeah. And just it's the first time you speak, will you tell us your name and maybe just tell us what you do? Hi, Hi. I'm uh, Jeannie Dorsey and I'm a playwright. Great, um, thanks Jeannie. And I'm wondering, um, as you move along in your artistic life, um, who are some of the artists that speak to you from any genre? In the here and now. Exactly. Yeah. <coughs> Who inspires you now? Who do you look to? Who, whose work do you pr uh, appreciate? This director you just told us about, obviously, was a... Ola, Ola Mafalani. Yeah. Um, oh, I think many. But also, next to that, also, uh, people. <laughs> like, life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you Everyday people, you mean just people you meet? People. Yeah, for example, yeah, I, 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 I have also wonderful, inspiring conversations every day with the taxi drivers. <laughs> but, uh, but I mean really, in, really inspiring. Because I feel, in this moment, on the March time, a friend of mine told me, uh, uh, I, I was, I, uh, um, I arrived uh, ten days ago, and I uh, I feel sometimes handicapped in the Ang English language, and and then I do not I I cannot find my flow, or I can't find my flow because that's not what I'm 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 not leaving that, but I feel a bit handicapped mm -hmm. because the, the, y y my my Dutch is of course fluent, so then you are at you're one piece, 
And every time I feel a bit nervous and I do not know how to express or I do not know how to stay connected and really express what I want to tell in essence. And that is something which is like, I think the theme what is going on in me when, I'm, when you are truly, when you are honest, when you put it on a table with the stranger, that theme is right away somebody, somebody's theme too, or his brother's theme, or his mother's. So I'm also in love with many artists, but actually I do not want to look at the world like that. I want to, to look at the world like uh, when I told the taxi driver yesterday evening, for example, like, oh man, my English, I, I, I feel I want to express something and I cannot find the right words and da 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 da. He said, oh, I'm one and a half here and I'm from Mali and oh, no, let's, you, you start in your language and I start in mine. It was, I think, <laughs> Bunaba or Banabo was his language. And we did and we had so much fun, you know, it was like, I, ik was in het Nederlands en ik zat heerlijk in het Nederlands en helemaal mijn eigen taal en ik kon me lekker helemaal uitdrukken en ik kon helemaal zeggen wat ik in mijn eigen, in my own, own, own fucking language, you know, and he was behind the wheel, you know, and he said, ik heb het I did it. And we were like, oh, the, and Anne Mart, and it was because Anne Mart said to, before I left the her, her house, like she said, like, oh, this is like the, what migrants have. They are so fucking intelligent. They study, da, 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 and they cannot express themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, how horrible. And I think that not, that m you may not express whatever job you take or find or choose, you may not express. I think maybe that the, the, is something. The true, that what, what's really going on, as you say, we have to we have to put on this this outside, this exterior sort of the, yeah, mask yeah, yeah, or yeah, 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 play right. by somebody else or not play <laughs> yeah, yeah, by yeah, by yeah. other people's rules, <laughs> <laughs> by some kind of societal dictate. Yeah, and it seems like that it, again for you all, even since from from four or five years old, you were negotiating that yeah. that territory. Yeah, so the individual, a anybody, yeah, anybody can be your subject in a way, in terms of... Yeah, because I, and, and I think, when I left art school, for example, you say, like, did, did you have examples? No, but I had, not really as teachers, or, but I had, for example, I had no clue, there was a director of a television channel. He came to the performance, he asked me afterwards, and he said, you have to make at 12 o'clock at night the late night show. Linda, I was one and a half year working. Why fucking me? One and a half year after art school. I couldn't believe it. And then I said to him, okay, uh, well, I, uh, 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 I start, I, I had, uh, you know, I was so naive in it. And I said, and then I, I was busy in that moment with friends, uh, transgenders. So I said, yeah. I'm going to do that in the middle of a beautiful time, 12 o'clock at night. I'm going to interview uh, transgenders in the, in, the, in, 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 in the process of... Transition. Transition. Thanks. And then whole Holland was shocked. <laughs> you know, they were all shocked. And I was like, oh, guys, very good. Then the next. You know, so... And that is actually the same. I was having a, 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 a big interview, uh, it was a scientist, mathematics, a man who transitioned in a woman, and that was the same. Mm -hmm. I thought the beauty that somebody want, wants to become who he feels she is, and that is the same with Alzheimer. It's the same for me, like, mm -hmm. accept the Alzheimer because my mother is now becoming not somebody, uh, 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 
how she was yesterday, but she's becoming somebody now, a new somebody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every moment, at every moment. Yeah. So it, it's everyday life. Everyday life is, is <laughs> the inspiration. Now, every person she meets, I think. Yeah. Please. I'm sorry Annie Hamburger can't be here. She's saving lives of teenagers in a production in Houston. But she has a similar philosophy and methodology. And the most significant thing is her goal is to open up conversation with people who would not ordinarily talk to each other. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I know that that's what you're doing, uh, not only within the theater community, but beyond. Right. This is Joan. Joan is one of our founders, one of the founders of the League. Of the oh, yeah. Just tell us a little bit about who you are. I'm Brigitte Helpling. I'm a, a, I write for the theater in Germany and Switzerland. Um, I'm one of the nominees, and uh, I'm delighted to experience Adelaide at the moment. I have one question. <laughs> no, it's, it's, an, it's really great. I have one question. Um, maybe it's not important, but it kind of... Uh, Something's missing from what you're telling about your mother and the jail you grew up in, for me, to be able to imagine it. I'd, I'd like to know what your mother wanted for you, because oftentimes this kind of restriction is meant because they want a person to go someplace. Did she want you to be a lawyer or a housewife or a doctor saving please? Um, my mother wanted the, um, to continue the, what you call the status? You call the status? Yeah. The, the level of the family? Yeah. Uh -huh. Status, like the status quo. status quo. Yeah. She wanted you to, and, and what was your father's profession? Uh, my father was <coughs> uh, uh, in the boar, oh, how do you say it? The boar, he was... God, hoe noem je de, de, de voorzitter van de board, zal ik maar zeggen. De head of the board. Ja, of a firm. A business. Yeah, He was a, a business. business man, basically. Yeah. But your mother was stayed home, or did she have a profession also? No, and then I, I think that was maybe her, her pain. <coughs> uh, my father left her completely free. Of course, they were, I think they were mar married in... 1926, so that period. No, she was born. In 1926. No, she was born in 1926. Oh, fuck. When, when, were, you, when were you born? <laughs> when, they, they were probably married in the 40s. There I go. They this were, is my last day. <laughs> they were probably married in the 40s, the late 40s, mid to late 40s. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or even, yeah. even early 50s. And, the, and my mother stopped her study, uh, and the th I, think, uh, I think that she, oh, that's what my sister and I think, we, we, of course you never know, but maybe uh, she was not a, a woman for children. Maybe she had to go on with her work, with her study, with her, but she choose actually I'm, and I think that's the pain of that period. She chose for being that representative woman, and she was. She was a beautiful woman. We were like children. We were in love with her, with her perfume and red lips and high heels and, you know, going to parties of my father and be representative at the house and da da da, -da and drinking the wine. And, but there was, I think, a deep, deep, deep pain in her. Um, um, oh, I almost have to cry now. <laughs> I remember um, I was once uh, uh, making a trip through the east of uh, Europe. And in, uh, I think, uh, Romania, I was in a kind of national museum. You know, of, and, and, uh, it was, I, I went there for basic interest in the country. So it was like <laughs> the whole history of... <laughs> and, uh, 
and I was I was on my own, so I went from period to period to period, and uh, and at the last room, and I I don't know where I was with my fantasy or where where I. I just was walking for hours, and in the last room, it was a kitchen, very white, and I broke into tears. But at once, I broke into tears. And that was the mo. And, and later on, so I went outside <laughs> to not disturb the people and went, and went for, a, for, a, for a coffee outside, and I realized that it was her jail. The, that kitchen, that you 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 had on in those days the first electric uh, washing machines oh, yes. and the first electric whatever and the first and but her her life but it was more she did it herself she chose it herself it was not her father it was not my father she chose it but she was there uh, she had her own dresses and hairdresses and other than her own car and, but she was stick to that fucking sink. Mm-hmm. 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 And she didn't. She didn't necessarily want you to be a a, a housewife, though, did no, she? No, no, no. She wanted me to 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 study, but not at strange, not art wild. School. Yeah, not, not at art school. school. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, anything but. Yeah, anything but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Are there other questions about? Yeah. Oh, and then oh, and then you. Okay. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Um, when you took the diff- you are, oh, I'm Nadira Bozigit, I'm an architect, and my son just started in acting school. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> <laughs> After Princeton economy degree, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you took different circle of people. I was wondering, um, like when you took um, the conservative uh, mother of Turkish lady. Were there any audience from her own circle, conservative people, came and watched and were influenced by the play? I mean, because we say play is for, you know, public art is for public, not art, art. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, did, were they influenced by, did they come to watch the play, these people? Yeah, what I, mean, I what how? I what I uh, when I can pay it, so that's always the fight. But all my, almost all my plays, I uh, or shows or performance or, or I in I put a, a, a huge pressure on the on my office to 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 invite them so that they come. And with this play, no longer without you, with Hava, the the traditional model. You 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 saw it, I know. Uh, we went for two weeks to community houses, so really to her own communities to play it. And we did a Q&A afterwards. So, yeah, Hava was actually a bit... That was actually her first realization. So, of course, for her, it was like, wow! It was a complete new world where she stepped in, so courageous. But the community houses, then she was like, oh! Then she was surrounded by failed women. And then at once she realized, oh, oh, oh my God, oh, oh, this is my own community. I mean, the the reaction of the people who watched, I mean, I saw like crossing on the advertisements, the commercials on the bus stops that were crossed or the breasts were colored. Did you get this reaction from the people of, of audience or conservative or can you see? the body language at mm-hmm. least. Yeah, but I'm actually, for me, it's the same like, for example, with the failed monologues, we got a bomb threat. And now I talk about it because it's so long ago. Uh, but on that moment, I didn't talk about it, for example, for years, because I I think there, I think all around the world, people are actually everywhere the same. So, do you have very conservative people in the mosques or who saw Hava doing this play and who got like frustrated by it because she had to defend more? Of course there are. Are there people who say, let's take off our veil, all of us, at the other side of the spectrum also? 
So maybe because I work with so different, or let's say difficult subjects, for me it's getting a bit the same, like you go from white to black and every color in between. Yeah, it's always there. But actually, um, little, little groups, not so. Small groups. So small groups, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that's easier? That makes it easier to have these kind of conversations? No, no, I mean like with small groups, the, 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 the critique, the critique? Oh, the critique comes from small groups. Yes, yeah. Yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah. There's always somebody. Yeah, but that's, always the, that's the area you're, you're working in also. Yeah, but now, I like now, I like the part I like. Let's say I like the area where where you can uh, develop the dialogue. That is interesting. But let's say the the the, the really no no the the conflict is not so no, interesting. No, no. The dialogue is what you're yeah, yeah. what you're after. Yeah, yeah. Did we have another question? Yes, Carmina. Was Yes, wonderful. Hi, I'm, I'm Carmina Naro. I'm a playwright, uh, producer, director, and, and one of the nominees. I'm, I'm very glad to be here. I'm, I'm very glad to see you and, and know you, because I, I didn't know you really uh, as a life. I have a question, and sorry, my English is awful, but there is no uh, translation. It sounds very good to me. <laughs> okay. Well. Where is that? It's a question. Yes. Yeah. When when you um, the people when you did the, the performance, the great performance in Mexico with Daniel Jimenez Cacho and the Safari and for the Pito, uh, the people does. The the people doesn't feel used. The vulnerable people, the poor people. Um, do you? If they feel used, you mean? Yes. Objectified. Exploited. Exploited. Objectified. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I admire you. First, no, I, I think, respect. I think never. I never. But I think that is, um, you have to help me to explain this, you all have to help me to explain this very well in English. And I, and I, I, I do not mean it as a, let's say, as a compliment for myself, but I want to make it very clear in the art. Um, and so, thank you for your question. My answer to your question is no, and why, and it's, yeah, it happens often, then you would say, answer to this question is yes. But the thing is, I am in that fucking role. I live there. That's the difference. The thing is, I live in that role. I live in the communities. I live in the districts. I lay on the floor for days with junks, with people, you know. People are living on in my front door. You know, it's, and then, and the thing for me is what I try to express all the time, the beauty or the, the essence or, and then you can say, yeah, do you make art with it? Yeah, I make art with it. Or I don't know, the, the forms just come. I have no clue how or why or where. But the, the, the essence is for me, there is talent in that human being. So when I, when I, and that's also the method. So I have, my actors are living in the houses of complete strangers. And of course, the, 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 the people in the district, uh, in the neighborhoods are like, oh my God, do I have to play? Oh my God, and for how long? They cannot even imagine. I have a rule like we explain four times, you know, during a few months to say like, it takes weeks of rehearsal. Then you go there, and they say yes on a certain moment, but they, they of course, they cannot uh, imagine. Same like I couldn't imagine what snow was, you know, before I really played in it. But the first time, I had no fucking clue what snow was, you know. So they don't have that, they have that clue. But then, when I start with them, so when they are going, then it it is it is just what we do. It is like. I 
relate to you and also to the people in Tepito, and also my Spanish is bad, but I relate to you. So what I, what my method is also most of the time, you can do better. You know, it's, it's like you, you, come out, you. Where is you? That is the, the whole thing is to, to get you out of you. And then people start growing immediately. That is the thing. It's not like uh, we are from the art world. We are entering, hmm, I'm going to look at you. Yeah, maybe you move a bit like, no, you know, that's completely not a thing. It is you, you are living. Okay, I follow your way of living. And then I make a scenography out of your natural move. And I think like, oh, wow, can I move this and this and this? Can you do the same? Is that the way? The way you walk. Wow. Well, it's this play. We come back to play yeah, again, and it's yeah. also you're not taking anything away from somebody. You're adding to. Yeah, yeah. And you're not also. It seems you are going wherever this person is going. You're not. You're not. You're not uh, making them do something. No. Or t to take away from them, or exploiting them in some way. It seems. Maybe. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Linda, go ahead. One more, and then let's. Yeah. We, no, Linda, this will be quick. We want it, and it's a perfect. We, I think we. I'll just. This is an observation. This is an observation. This is not a question. Okay. I want to thank this wonderful lady for her inspiration today. But above and all, all and and beyond that point, all of us have to retain our child within. What I'm seeing here, when you're saying sense of play and let's build a sand castle and not leave that sand barren, go into that lobby with the bicycle, let's shake things up, let's move it around, let's think outside the box and always retain that laughter, always on the verge of laughter. We take ourselves too seriously. We're going through some very serious things in this country and the only thing that will really heal us is knowing that we are unique, that we are special, that we have humor, that we can laugh at some of the problems that exist. What I, what I hear from you is that always you were having an active child within you. The child keeps getting richer and richer. That's what I, I love you for saying all of this today because I believe wholeheartedly in any of us who teach acting know that a lot of our training today goes to students who don't laugh enough. And that's one of the major problems I see. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Anna Marski, you have a chair, Scott. No, I just, uh, just you already explained. Because I think it's interesting, you, you asked about the, uh, if, if the people didn't feel uh, misused. And I wanted you to, to explain that you that it's the adoption technique yeah. that you really Well, this is exactly where we're going. You started already explaining. This is exactly so, where uh, we're going now. So well, you set it up beautifully about the, abdo uh, the adoption technique. I just want to lay a few of those, uh, maybe a little bit of your practice in terms of the adoption methodology. Where did it come from? I mean, that's it. when did it become, when did you name it? When did you name it? Well, I was, I was fascinated by, uh, I was fascinated by a woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh man, I was fascinated by a woman in the also, you know, like uh, like with the in uh, in in um, public traffic. Yeah, and she was she lived in a shelter house, and then I thought, like, and I I was talking with her like thirty minutes in the tram, and then I was like, wow. So I thought, can I visit that? Da, da, da. And there I did my first adoption. So I went Which to Which is like a homeless shelter. Uh, no, no, uh, no. Uh, uh, do domestic, domestic violence. Oh, sorry, a shelter, sorry. somebody who's, yes, yes. Sorry, a like shelter. a safe house, we might yeah, call yeah, it. Safe or, house, yeah, a safe house, a safe house, yeah. And then I lived there for two weeks, uh, and, I, uh, and then the, the, the lady of the, of the house, the the business manager you call it business manager well i i, I, I yeah i don't I know, don't know is, this pu is, yeah, is this a is yeah is this a manager the public it's a public yeah it's a public yeah 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 and yeah. then uh, like a social worker almost or the head yeah and we, we yeah. say who who do you director the director the manager director yeah the director same like regisseur director manager oh the yes. director manager at any rate yes 
So that was my first adoption to li to live there. And it was you who did it yourself. Yeah, yeah, I did it myself. Yeah, yeah. And then I said to my uh, so, th and then I I said I I I, and I don't know how yeah, how I I just explained it to my actors. I said, here's a bottle of whiskey. There's no no discussion possible. So when you want to be in my next piece, you have to live in a house for two weeks, also overnights. No, no discussion. But here's the whiskey, you can drink it tonight and become, uh, go out of the roof, but you have and to do Do it. the actors make the relationships with the people that they go live with? Or do you set that up for them? Or do they have to make those relationships to begin with? We do the research, so there's a... You have an area, you have a group of... of yeah, researchers. Of people who... Yeah, do, yeah. And, then the, and then we, I, I, I myself and Lauren, my assistant, we bring the actors to the houses. Uh, we take a present, we have a coffee, and then we leave. And then we visit in those two weeks, and they develop the relation, and they, in the end, will develop the scene and play together but for example i also do, i was asked for the to be um um f ik, ik kan al die woorden niet voorzitter van de vakjury yeah. the chairperson of the of the of the jury of the national theater season <laughs> <laughs> the chair per okay thank you Dolph. Uh, and then i said yeah i'm gonna do that if i can install a neighborhood jury. Uh huh. Yes. So why isn't right. there? Why isn't there like uh, uh, women who never been to the theater? Because why? 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 And, and I. Why is it always experts? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, for me, right. so, you know. And then I install that there are now already five through Holland, and the stories. So I, I, I said to the jury, but also a lot of people go to the theater. I said, yeah, they said, oh. Hey, the neighborhood jury. Wow, what nice it did. I say, yeah, what? And what are yeah, you are going? Why? Always in the end. Why? Okay, you go to a theater piece, you have your white wine. After 10 seconds, you saw the piece, you are not talking about the piece anymore. You are talking about your new dress, the climate problems, the taxi drivers are awful these days. Da di da di da di da di da. And, and that was the theater piece. Yeah, wow, Halina was wonderful, really. <laughs> you know? But the neighborhood jury is in the audience, do not speak the language well, is in tears because they are, they see a man on the stage who, ha who, who the, the, for, for, that was an example, yeah, with a bottle, and they were remembering the whole clash with the father who was an alcoholic, daddy, daddy, you know, and they come out, they talk for an hour about what they saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the same what I did with Toneelgroep Amsterdam, with yes. Johan Simons, when I yes. did The Crossing. I took 100 people uh, who, uh, 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 but in every city where we played, in every city, 100 new people to, to, to cross through the piece of Johan Simons. So he, he played Danton's, Danton's death. And we walked in with 100 people, and then we, at, during the piece, and then in the, at the end, we came back on stage. Uh, we had, and then we undressed. 100 people undressed themselves. So beautiful. They just did their bad ritual. That is what I asked them and what I... And they were willing to do that. Yeah, and Johan was even... Johan was not... I mean, not, I mean in a good way. He was mad, but in a good way. Did he know you were coming with 100 people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, did, we, we did the rehearsing, but he never saw the ending. Because he was, you know, Johan uh, from, <laughs> I don't know, from Paris to, I don't know, right, right. to the Rue Triennale. He's a very <laughs> famous director. He's a very famous, wonderful Dutch director. Yeah, he's yeah. One, he wonderful. Yeah. I love him. I like him. But he was like blocking the, 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 the elevator and said, Adelheid, how did you rehearse that? <laughs> <laughs> he was really... I said, well, Johan, I didn't, well, rehearse, rehearse? No, well, uh, we were together many times for hours, and then we were talking with, like, so how do you undress Bef before you go to bed? I, um, 
um, quite slowly. Actually, I sort of lie down quite a lot in between. And yeah, <laughs> frankly, yeah. yes. Yeah, I don't know. Take off a shirt and then sit down and type on my laptop or read something and then I'll take off a shoe. Or yeah. Beautiful. Be you know, it's like, so when you interview people, then everybody is doing it yeah. on their own way. And o already this is like a kind of, you think like, oh, but that is a scenography in itself, no? Right. But it's an improvisation. Right. Yeah. 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 And how do you find the hundred people in each each town and city that yeah, you that, yeah that is the work that is the work that is the that is the, that is really the work we do yeah that is a lot and of and they're work. all from the same community the hundred are no, they there no, are no. there people from various yeah. communities yeah 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 oh yeah yeah from all kind of districts in, 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 in Holland so but it was a knock for me it was it's same like structure because the whole idea div oh, I was inspired by I want to knock on the door of the main hall theaters because actually, what are they doing for their cities? Actually, what are they? So it was a knock on the door. So I went to Evo because I needed uh, a main hall theater, but in, how say it, in working? Um, in action, yes. right? In a, a working theater, a working yeah. theater. So not yeah. in daytime, eh? yeah, yeah, because yeah. then the, you feel right. like a guide, but yeah. in action. And then I and, and that was the knock on the door, and we slept there. And the next morning, uh, you had the hundred people sleep in the theater overnight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. After the Dantons, yeah. after you, after Dantons death, Dantons yeah. death, uh, yeah. the in, after the invasion, and the hundred people took their clothes off. Yeah, took their clothes off, and in that ritual, the actors of Tonil Group were taking their applause. Which was a beautiful... All on the stage together? On the stage, yeah. They were in between the people. They walked. We're going to see some video, I think, later in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. will help, help you to visualize this. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, that's true. That's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. That's fascinating. So it's, it's basically, it's similar to the adoption, the, the staying overnight, the, the, the um, meeting of these hundred people. That's got to be a big project. To oh get man. seven, a uh, hundred people who are willing to yeah, and, and go on city. this journey with you. Yeah. Oh man, that was. So what, what was, do you do you do you ask friends to recommend? Do you send out mailings? Do oh you no, send no, out right, emails? right, right, right. No, I no, mean just well, te technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How does that happen? Over and over again. I mean, to I do it once you, seems you like. Hate your face so much. <laughs> To do a hundred, to get a hundred people one time seems like quite a challenge. But you've done it how many, many times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, for example, we. Oh, and it was a few months. I slept. I slept a few months in 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 theaters, on stage. Yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah, that research is also. It is a lot of work, but it is as simple as everything I told you, and that is we just rang doors. So we go on the bike, and everybody thought it was a journalist in the beginning. All thought it was it, it's a metaphor. Yeah, I'd like that's the metaphor. But now, how do you collect the people? I say no, it's not a metaphor. It's for real. I go on the bike for twenty minutes. We go to the districts. We put the you, bike. You, you, and the other people and the in group. your company. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we start ringing the bell, and then we say like, "Can I come in?" And uh, how are you today? And, <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a coffee. And then, of course, you also go to community houses or they bring you. They say, oh, tomorrow night we have a, a barbecue with the neighborhood and there are coming 20 people. And you can ask them and I will introduce right. you there. Yes. And that is how, you know. Like so it's really grassroots. It's almost like it's like political, uh, almost like a political movement in a way where you go one on one, except yeah. all you, yeah. you are promoting a dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A conversation. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really, really yeah. fascinating. Really yeah. and fascinating. And then I really want to bring them, because it's, it feels like a shake on two sides, because I, I also, the WIG jury, the members of the, of, the, of the neighborhood jury, I want them to be adopted by Tonil Group. I want them to be adopted the by... Hundred. No, the, so, sorry, the, the, the jury. The, the, the jury. The neighborhood, ah, jury. Ah, the neighborhood jury. Yes. Yeah, the neighborhood. Yes. So I want them to be adopted by the, the, the manager director of the main hall theater. So, and that is also, uh, so I make the posters that the Wijk jury exists 
of the general gen uh, of the, the the general manager and the and one of the members. So that is all the time. You so also in the publicity, I I I I'm, I want that adoption methods uh, to be clear. So, but also that there is no hierarchy. So, and then uh, that adoption is, of course, not sleeping because that's for, for, for this performance, and that's not two weeks in a house. But then I I tell them also to the to the managers there are five connecting points this year. So you adopt now Katrine because Katrine is a member of the the the, the Wijk jury. You are the general, di you are Evo, and okay, so you have five connection points this year. So she will eat at your house one time, you will eat at her house. This is personal, this is not institutional, this yeah. is personal, yeah. one on one. Oh well, yeah, one on one, yeah. 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 And from that one on one, I make a poster to make it more universal. And Evo has, now you have to understand in the Netherlands they have a, well, it's less than it used to be, but it's still a very beautiful system where each of the bigger cities and towns has a state theater with, 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 oh, right. we, it's oh, a little right. different. We don't, oh, right. we have not-for-profit theaters, but it's not, and there's a little bit of government subsidy, but not much. So each theater is responsible for its own well-being, but there's a system of, of, of state, basically state-owned and operated theaters in the Netherlands. And Ivo van Hova is a, a big high art director. My theater has worked with Ivo for almost 20 years, so I feel I can, I know something about him. And I, it really is, he's embraced you. Did he go and, does he go and have the one-on-one -on -one with the members of the yeah, community? He, he had like the, 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 the first neighborhood jury was like, I think eight years ago now. And he was the first, first to adopt them, so I, I took... So he was the beginning. Yeah. So he led the way, Yeah. which is very good. Yeah. Really, really wonderful. Um, you know what I would love to do? Yes, yeah, yeah. We're going to, we're going to wrap in a couple of minutes, but I wonder, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, would you perhaps engage us as if we were going to be, we're potentially people who might be doing a project with you? Yeah. Because we, we want to do actually, we really want to, we want to learn about this. We want to learn about what these play, what this play is. But how better than, and especially since the way you're describing it is that you're never, it's always in the doing. Yeah, it's yeah, in, it's in, the doing. in the doing. So yeah, maybe, in the doing. Maybe, yeah, yeah. It, maybe if we're being recruited as part of a hundred, <laughs> we'll actually get a real, we may end up going yeah, on stage and taking our clothes off. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but it's in the doing. That's beautiful. Yeah, we can. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So at any rate, we've got a few minutes. Do you want to ask any more questions? And then we're going to stop at noon and take a break. So other questions? Comments? Curious. Melanie. No problem. Yeah. Just a logistics okay. thing. Yeah. Um, when you're going into the, you, you the actress, whatever, are, are living immersed in the community for a week or two, um, what is it, are you compensating the families that you're living with in? Are they, they're now just responsible for another mouth to feed and are the actors, I'm just curious about the logistics, are the actors following them wherever they go all day? No, that is of course, uh, of course that is bacon t taken care of, of course. So you're contributing back to oh, yeah, the yeah, household. Oh yeah, of course, they, they, they sorry? Is it privately funded? Well, we have a complete different system, so I even do not know what privately funded means in, I mean, your context and mine Well, we do a lot of, fun all of our not-for-profit theaters need to fundraise, and we, we have so little government subsidy, and there are foundations and a few corporations, but there's not enough to go around anywhere. So everybody's dependent first on box office these days, and also on uh, individual donors. It's like the feudal system gone crazy. Yeah, yeah. Not one, you don't have one benefactor, you have hundreds of benefactors and you need to be yeah. constantly. But we, yeah, but, but that's, but yeah, but that's what, about what I do too. That, that's because the, yeah, yeah. The, the, the urban safari costs money. 
because you have so many people, uh, uh, local people, and I want all the local people to be, you know, really related to the play, really related to us so that they feel at home. So we have simple things. Uh, so also the rehearsing spaces, you know, everything is simple. And that is also because I want no doors closed. I want everybody can walk in and everybody can take whatever he likes. So I had, so that is, a, and that works very, very, very good. So it's but always... The money is, is... Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you're, you get your funding. The, the government funding in the Netherlands, you usually write a grant proposal that takes you, what is it, three years now, four years? Four. So they have cycles. I know we're, every little grant we're writing over and over again, they go to the government, a four-year program, and they, and, and they get the funding or not. And then now in the Netherlands, they also are learning how to fundraise because they don't have the subsidies they used to have. So it's a combination, but not quite as, it's not quite as desperate as we are in terms of, yeah. One, one more question over here. Hi, I'm Jonathan I have Tindall. A short movie to close. When, when, when we close. Okay, good. Yes, please. Hello. And Hello. You are? I'm Jonathan Tindall. I'm an actor. Hi, Jonathan. Um, I wondered if, if you have anecdotal feedback from these communities one year, five years later as to how, if at all, the work has changed their communities? Do you get feedback? Do you keep in contact? Yeah. Is, is, it, is it a positive? Do you, do, you, do you have ongoing relationships with some of these people? Very much, because, but my actors are extraordinary, I think. But also, I think also because it's, because this, let's say the method is so real, is that actually also we we make that we make everything easy. So for example, this uh, in with uh, at the end of the season, the beginning of the season, Christmas. I don't you know um, that kind of moments. We all we always invite everybody. Uh, we always pick a community house in a neighborhood. So, so also for our officials and my board, I also think that's good. You travel a bit, you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> you go to something else than when you are used to. Well, they're so on you your board. They better, right? right? They exactly. Better. Exactly. Better. exactly. Yes. yes. <laughs> they, they know what they're signing on for. <laughs> <laughs> and still, I have to. to <laughs> educate them a bit um, and also there are um, when for example when when we initiate every year a new uh, neighborhood jury then we try to who can you that say overdragen to 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 bring this jury to another theater group for example okay, okay. Yes. 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 So that you're you're mixing you're mixing between. Yeah. But when they don't want to stop, I'll I'll initiate every year a new one. Right. Right. Uh, but then I'll try to bring them to another theater group. Right. Because somebody has to you know to to organize it organize them, and in the new neighborhood jury uh, this year, for example, are a few adoptions of my last. A safari, which I uh, ended last June. So we did that from January till June, that project. And then the performances are two months in Amsterdam, May and June. So then we ask these adoptions to be part of the... So we open that up. So when they say no, then they are still in contact, but then they have the possibility... They can always come back. Yeah, they can come back, and it's yeah. and I think it's more. And what what I do well, that is something um, I am very grateful. For example, to you, Dolph. Dolph, for example, was ambassador in in Mexico, and he did, in my opinion, a beautiful thing, which was um, exactly what I mean with the work. So when you can say follow up, 
uh, without that I ever spoke about you, uh, about it with you, uh, but you did a follow-up of, of the work I make in the real life. Because there was a huge uh, reception in Mexico, and of course there are, well, you, you know when the ambassador is giving a reception, you know more or less, I don't have to explain, what kind of people are invited. And then Dolph invited everybody who was part of the urban safari in Tepito. And Tepito is a neighborhood, yeah, you know, of course, because you're from Mexico. In the middle of Mexico, it's a dangerous neighborhood. It's a criminal neighborhood. And, you know, uh, well, you just saw the, the pictures of Daniel, uh, who is Mex he's from Mexico, a very famous actor and director. And I made it with him over there. And then Dolph invited the adoptives, who are all, you know, poor people, the scooter guys, who's like a criminal... Local, uh, yeah, well, I had to. You know, there were there were no other, other motorcycles. They were they were criminals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the corruption is from here till there. So oh, unlike the United States, yeah. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so and then Dolph asked them to the reception, and it was so touching because. They were all in the aftershave, they, you know. They were, they, they... Um, ironed. Ironed, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> they ironed their shirts. And uh, I think, Dolph, you, you said with that, with that lovely, uh, yeah, gentle mood of you, you said afterwards, because I couldn't be there, and you said afterwards to me that, that the servants from that reception were a bit disturbed because they didn't recognize, let's say, that even the people of Tepito were in hierarchy lower than the servants. So they were... <laughs> they <laughs> no, didn't they know where they were anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Linda, yes. unfortunately... The time stop. Yes, yes, <laughs> we must stop. We need a little break. Everybody needs a break. But then we will come back and we will... Those are possible? Yeah? Only to finish it? Ah, well... Yeah, we have to we stop. can show it right at the, at the beginning. We'll take a shorter break. We'll take a little bit. We're already cutting ourselves five minutes. Yeah, ten minutes, so we'll do ten minutes break. We'll do ten okay. minutes and then we'll come back and do video. And do, we'll do, video. do a little more video. And then we're, we're all going to... Okay. And then you can... Um, you, you can bring us into the process. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs>